Now, I mentioned earlier that the signal flow during recording is a little different from the signal flow after the signal is recorded or during playback. As you can see, this signal starts at the region and then goes through your inserts, so forth and so on. But what I didn't tell you is that during recording, the signal goes two different places, if you will. Let me demonstrate. So when we were recording, I told you that the signal comes in through your input, leaves your input, and goes directly to your disk. And then inside your audio files folder, it creates a parent file, and then you get a region on your track that represents that. Well, that's only half true because the signal also comes in through your input and then it will go through any plugins that you have in your insert or your audio effect slots. And then it will go to your mute, to your fader, to your pan, and to your stereo output. That's how you actually are able to hear the signal out of logic. It has to come down the channel strip and go through that same signal path that the audio during playback does so that you can actually hear it. But what's different is it does not record the signal that's going down this signal path. It only records what goes directly to the hard drive. And I'm going to demonstrate that by adding another plugin onto this. I'm going to add Chroma Verb. And uh, I've got a setting that I put in here for this demonstration. So now Chroma Verb is the fourth insert or the fourth audio effects in this signal path. So if I play back, you'll hear the signal with the effect on it. So what I'm going to do here at bar 33 is I'm going to actually record in another region from the MPC going through these processors and you will hear the effect of the reverb on. I put the reverb on it because a lot of times you may not hear compression or limiting, but you should be able to hear the reverb. Let me play it again so you'll hear what it sounds like. That's with the reverb. That's without it. So I'm going to record on this same track from my MPC. So from the external source back to my MPC again. And you'll see the signal record just like it did in the last tutorial. But you'll also see it going through the EQ, the compressor, the limiter, and the chroma verb. Let's see what happens as a result. So what you heard, it had the EQ, the compression, the limiting, and you could hear the reverb. And if I play back what's here, you still hear all those things. But now what I'm playing back, the source is that region. And so it's still going through the EQ, compressor, limiter, and the verb. But if I bypass these, even though I recorded this region and through those plugins, or you had the ability to hear those plugins, they were not printed into the audio file. So when I play this audio file, you will hear a dry signal without EQ, compression, limiting, or verb. So even though during the recording process, the signal also goes through the inserts, down through the mute, the fader, the pan knob and the stereo output, what's actually being recorded goes directly to the disc without going first through the EQ, compressor, limiter, and verb, or your inserts.